Hello to pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your boy Alvin Drill. In this video, I'm going to upgrade the BIOS version for this Dell Optiplex 7090. As you can see on the screen, I'm showing the model uh, there. So this machine actually is my lab that I use technically every day. So my VMs are here. I use VMware XE. You can have Windows 10, Windows 11, Linux, or any operating system. The process is going to be the same. So I have done a video in the past in which I show how to find drivers for your model or the or the BIOS version, the new BIOS version. So uh, if you're interested in that, you can click on the top right of this screen for that video. So once you have found and download the correct BIOS version for your model, you need a USB flash drive, as you can see over here. So this USB can be any size. This one is four gigabytes, I think. You can have 32, 64, doesn't make a difference. The only caveat, let's say caveat, quote, quote, is to have it formatted with FAT32. Okay, so it has to be formatted with FAT32. Once you do that, the only thing you have to do is copy paste um, the, your EXE file for your BIOS update. That's pretty much it. And once you have done that, you have to connect your USB to any available port on your machine. In my case, this one I'm going to connect to one that is available at the front, like that. Very simple. And then I'm going to make sure it's well connected. Allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera. And I'm going to turn on the machine. So the video is sped up in this part, and we are going to start pressing F12. You can see the Dell logo there. You don't have to press it that, that many times, <laughs> but I just did, just to make sure. And this is the boot, uh, the boot screen. Um, so you can see at the top left, Optiplex 7090, and uh, to the right, you can see BIOS revision or version 1.24. So that's the one I have at the moment. Y your screen might be different depending on what model you have. You can see the hard drives over there or partitions. And we have to select here BIOS update. We click on that. And it's going to show us this. So at the top, we, we, we can see system BIOS information, the model, the Optiplex and the revision or BIOS version 1.24. So we want to flash it from a file, from the USB. So flash from file, we're going to click on that and it's going to show us this screen. So there's a lot of stuff here. So you can scroll down on app. So what we have to look for here is the name of your USB flash drive that you have connected that contains the BIOS update. So in my case, um, it's the default name, new volume. You can see it here, new volume. I'm going to click on that and you can see the EXE over here, Optiplex 7090. I'm going to exit out and show you again. So we're, we have to click on flash from file and it's going to show us all this. So we have to look or you have to look for the uh, for the name of your machine, uh, for the name of the USB flash drive that you have connected. So in my case, uh, the name is new volume, very general. I'm going to click on that and you have to see the EXE file for the BIOS update. In my case, that's the only thing that is in this USB flash drive. And as you can see, Optiplex 7090 version 1.34.1. So that EXE. So that's the one I'm going to click on that. It's going to become blue. And now I, ha I have to click suck, Submit. Now your computer is going to freeze for a few seconds. Don't worry about that. You cannot move the mouse. And after that, it's going to show us something like this. So what I have is version 1.24. And what I'm going to upgrade to or update to is version 1.34.1. So here I'm going to click on Update the BIOS. It's going to show us this. You are going to update the BIOS, confirm update BIOS. So you're going to click on that. And the machine is going to freeze again for a few seconds. Don't worry about that. You cannot move the mouse. And after that, is going to the machine is going to reboot, as you can see over here. Don't press anything now. You, you see the Dell logo and the update is going to start. So you can see the flash progress, 0%. This process takes around, depending on your machine, in my case, it took around six minutes. The video is sped up, obviously. And while we are waiting, this is a good time for you to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it so yet. That really helps my channel a lot. So thank you. Thank you very much. So. The process uh, is, li like I said, the videos are sped up here. You don't have to wait all the real time. So just don't disconnect your machine. Make sure that you don't turn it off uh, by mistake or anything or somebody else. So after it's almost complete, it's going to show you this. Uh, BIOS update successful, rebooting your system. So you don't have to press anything. The machine is going to reboot. And now uh, this might take a few seconds, by the way. So I'm going to start pressing F12 again. You don't have to do this part. I just want to show you. 
So you can see the same screen that we saw a few minutes ago, and you can see at the top right revision is 1.34.1. That, that means the upgrade has been successful, so we have the latest BIOS version. So now, well, we don't have anything else to do here. I'm going to press Escape, and this is going to make the machine reboot one more time. And it's going to take a few seconds here. The video is sped up again. And from here, it's going to boot to Windows, Linux, or whatever you have. In my case, like I said before, I have VMware XE. You can see everything here, which is not related to Windows or Linux. So maybe you want to watch one of these videos now. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave them in the comment section below. And as always, as you know, I'll see you in the next video.